Okay guys, so let's talk about how Vive Coding has just got a huge upgrade with Claude Desktop and MCPs. Now previously, creating something like you can see on the screen right here, now this isn't quite working, it almost worked, but it, it, got fa it, it failed slightly on the selector site part. But it just feels so much stronger coding with the Claude Desktop application. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think that is, and I'm going to try and show you how this is almost one of the best coders possible with just one very, very, very small error, which is slowing things down. Let's get into it. So I've actually already put this on my school community, but I really truly believe that this is like a no code or very low code solution. You no longer have to worry about Visual Studio Code. You don't really have to worry about dependencies. You don't really have to worry about you know, running code. There's very, very little that you now have to worry about because you can just use Claude code to basically do all of these things for you. So an example of this is I show here how you can use Claude code and the command prompt on Windows to create an entire project without even opening Visual Studio code once, right? So I really, really believe that things are getting to the point now where you really don't even need to understand the basics of coding, you can now actually just jump into Vibe Coding. Now, if you want to join the school community, it'll be the first link in the description of this video, but I just wanted to show you guys this concept. MCPs are much easier on Claude Desktop, right? You can create projects. So I can have a project here. This project here has specific system instructions and a specific use of each MCP in those system instructions. It has my .m variables, right? So I can code different SAS projects using this project system. This is now saved. Like I don't have to go and get my .m variables every single time. They're just saved here. I don't have to look for my system prompts specific to building this project or SAS project because it's already in the project knowledge. This is why I am loving Claude code. Now, if I just show you another one of these examples, so if I cd dot dot here, cd dot dot, and then npm run dev this, I believe this is the good example that I made last night. Yeah, so look at the quality of this, right? This is absolutely crazy. Everything works as well. Like the, I can actually log in with Google. This is a one shot prompt, right? This was one prompt and it created all of this for me. Normally this takes a hell of a lot of bug fixing, a hell of a lot of messing around with Klein. It doesn't matter if you're using Sonnet or Gemini 2.5, you try and do this with Klein, you'll have errors. Whereas with Anthropic desktop app, it, you don't have that issue anymore, right? So we can just fetch data here. All of this works. This is basically a ready to go SaaS, right? Now there's still a few things I need to change, like I need to actually make it give good advice. I need to show that advice in some kind of dashboard, all of that good stuff. But like, it's getting there. And this took 45 minutes. Like normally this stuff takes three hours, four hours, five hours. And I've tried this a lot of times. I've tried Augment Code, I've tried Klein, I've tried Roo Boomerang, Roo Non Boomerang, every MCP under the sun. I've tried everything. Right, I'm telling you right now, the only one that is consistently getting me these kind of results is Claude, Des Claude Desktop with mainly the Context 7 MCP um, with a system workflow, system or project workflow, I should say, I should say. And then you can use something like sequential thinking or Taskmaster if you want, but honestly, just context seven MCP with a project workflow seems to actually be enough. So you can see right now, all this does is just generate um, pages, uh, not pages, insights, right? So total impressions, clicks, top performing pages, right? Russian blog on Italian designer brands, brands, Japanese blog on old money brands, German blog on Italian jean brands, k and collection page. It's actually pretty useful information for us. Uh, obviously we could get this in search console in two minutes, but you know, just to have this in a pretty quick and easy format is already a bit of a win, right? It's not, it's not there yet. I'm not saying it's fully there, but you know, if we take this and we get it to give us JSON instead of uh, bullet points, 
and then we extract that JSON and then display that JSON to users and make it give me, you know, 20 performing pages and queries instead of five. And then, you know, have comparison from three months ago to now, etc. You know, this is pretty close. This, this being the only problem, like the, the layout not being quite correct, is the, is the least of my problems. Normally the problems come from things like um, the homepage looking terrible, the Stripe not working. This might not work, but only because um, I haven't set up the domain yet. I'm pretty sure if I launched, um, if I launched the project, I'm pretty sure everything would work. Yeah, so right now there's some kind of problem with the payment. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just because I haven't launched the website and I'm not using local uh, host um, in the .env variables. But yeah, I mean, this is amazing. The quality is really, really good. Like, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm super, super impressed by this. Now let's talk about the negatives and why this isn't quite there. The, the biggest, the, pretty much the only negative of this is this right here. Claude hit the maximum length for this conversation. Please start a new conversation to continue chatting with Claude. This is nightmare fuel. Imagine having a project where you are about to launch, right? And th this is like, I'm literally about to launch here. Imagine that you are about to launch your product and then you get hit by this, right? Now you have a few options. You can take this into client and try and fix it. You can change um, how you're doing things. So for example, I would probably just get rid of sequential thinking here because it uses too many tokens, right? That's a lot of tokens being not wasted necessarily, but used, right? This is using, I wouldn't be surprised if sequential thinking used 20 to 30%. And because of the laws of, uh, I don't, I can't remember what the word is. It's like compounding interest, right? And the more money you have, the more money you get from interest. I think that's what compounding interest is. It's the same thing here. The more context you have to feed to each prompt, the more quickly you use your context. You've probably noticed it says something like longer conversations eat up your um, usage faster, start a new conversation to save credits or whatever. That, that message always pops up here. So anything that you can do to kind of reduce the amount of overall credits is probably going to be worth it. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not here to, to bullshit. Sequential thinking does seem to improve the quality, but by a minimal amount that I think would be better used just doing context seven research instead, because you can actually see that I don't think any context seven research was actually performed here. Yeah, a little bit, a tiny little bit, not enough in my opinion. Okay. So, Overall, I think Vibe Coding has had a huge upgrade. If and when they release Opus 3.7, I'm going to be having a party, uh, a live stream party. So definitely look out for that one. I'm literally sat here waiting for this. If this has, a, if they release Opus with a million context window, I am telling you now they will be the number one AI company in the world. I really, really think that Anthropic are onto something. I really think that um, the desktop app is the best AI coder I've ever used. And it's, it's literally zero code. Or like, I'll, sh I'll show you quickly this here, this MCP setup. It's so easy to set up MCPs on Claude code. It's actually ridiculous, right? All you do is you just um, press this edit config button, right? And then you find the MCP server JSON syntax that you need. You tell ChatGPT that you're on Windows, so make sure that it knows you're on Windows. Or another thing you can do actually is go to MCP, just Google MCP, right? And then look for model context protocol.io, okay? And then go to quick start for Claude desktop users. The important thing here is clicking Windows and feeding this as an example of how to add an MCP server to windows okay so you can copy this right go to chat gpt it's literally this easy to install an mcp server right this is the formatting needed for any mcp server um this is i'm acting like i've got no mcp service right so if i go file system mcp server grab this well, all you need is this, right? You need, you need Node.js installed as well, obviously. Make this MCP server the same as the one above. 
give it access to my um i need it uh to my c drive so what it's now going to do is it will turn this into the oh it's the same thing oh right okay i didn't even realize that that's kind of stupid of me but whatever so then what you could do i'm not going to do this because it'll just fuck with my Someone said not to swear. Sorry, guys. I'm a swearer. Okay, I, I'm not, I, I can't not swear. It's it's physically impossible for me. I'm sorry. So all you do is go file settings, developer, edit config. Right. I'm not gonna do this because it'll, it'll destroy my nicely organized um, MCP. But if I just pasted this, I might just. Am I gonna regret this horribly? <sighs> Wait, let me make a copy of this one, just in case. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And then all you do is go here, quit out of the desktop app, right? Uh, open Claude desktop again. If nothing pops up on the top right, then you're good. The way to test it is go to File, Settings, Developer. You can see there are no issues with this, right? The reason being is you don't actually need to create the server or anything like that. You just use MPX, which is a file management thing as far as I understand it. Um, and it actually creates the files on your system that are needed in order to, for the MCP to work. I'm gonna leave the video there guys. I really, really truly believe that this, this is a huge update. The only thing I need to look into is um, how Klein and Rue actually reduce the context thing. I'm gonna guess they do something like vectorizing or yeah, I've, I've got no idea how they actually do it, but. If I can work out how they do that and then add that to Claude Desktop, maybe there's something online that I can look at, then that's when things start to get super interesting because currently the only problem with this is the context window. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.